welcome to the Westland Public Library's Community Kitchen Program. I'm your host, Sarah, and joining me today is Jeff Halverson. Okay. Currently, the Westland Police Department Information Officer, there we go, my apologies, yeah. Information Officer and SRO to the Westland School District. No, we got a new SRO. Yeah. I handed the, the baton over to our new uh, officer, Jabril Johnson, will be the SRO come this fall. So Yeah. So tell us what we're making today. Uh, we're going to do mac and cheese. Uh, this is going to be the mac and cheese. For the most part, this is the recipe that I use in the, uh, the food cart over at Jackpot. A couple of differences, but uh, the basic stuff, it's not hard. It's pretty easy. We got the water boiling. It was boiling uh, already, uh, and we're going to get started with that. Yeah, so let's go ahead and add the uh, well, we're primary ingredients. We're going to throw a little bit of salt in there. You always want to salt your boiling water. Get that in there. And let's go for a boiling, but I think we'll be all right. You can also throw the pot, uh, the lid on there. Let me go ahead. I can go grab that. So just a, a big box of pounds of pasta. I like to use the, the shells because the shells will hold some of that sauce once, mm -hmm. once they're cooked. Like the ramp, uh, spiral ones as well. So. Yeah, all that's any kind of pasta that's gonna little nooks and crannies to get that cheese sauce in there. That's what we really want. Yep, that's stirred up. And let that go. That'll take about eight, eight and a half minutes. Okay. And while we're doing that, we'll get the roux started for the sauce. Okay. Oh, this, <laughs> this is very fancy. Yeah, right. Oh, uh, go ahead and put the. Oh, so for induction burners, you have to put the pan on in order to get it started. It doesn't work with glass containers or aluminum containers because those don't have metals in it, but it works with stainless steel, copper. Uh, so currently this is set at kind of a mid, uh, mid high or mid actually heat. Um, is that okay? Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, so perfect. We take our butter, about a tablespoon of butter. We're okay. just gonna make a real simple roux, uh, butter and flour and let that uh, get hot. And yeah, there's that. About a tablespoon of butter. So we use about a tablespoon of flour. And let that get nice and toasty. A little bit more. Yeah. These exact measurements, you know. So. Yeah. So yeah, you can tell, good. home chef. I tend to measure out all my ingredients first. So. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is why I don't bake, because uh, baking is too much like science. And yeah, I, it I, is. I need to have that kind of. All my recipes are up here. It right. Really bothers my wife. Uh, yeah, that's the same uh, dynamic in my household. My uh, husband can just make anything off the top of his head, and then I'm like, we can't reproduce this ever again because you just did it. He's just like, I'll try. But you can come close. -ish. Yeah, but you can come close, and then I'm like, I have to follow a recipe. So whichever way you decide to cook, good for you. Well, the the, the upside with that too is that if it doesn't turn out well, like, well, I didn't follow the recipe, so. I didn't oh, okay, an excuse. Yeah, yeah. that's. And then we go get. Well, and then if it doesn't turn out well for me, I'm like, oh, it's the recipe's fault. Clearly, it wasn't me. So that we're just gonna melt that all down. Let that get uh, a little brown. We don't want it too brown. We're not doing a, a gumbo or anything like that. So just kind of that peanut kind of color to it. And then once we add the the liquids, that'll help thicken up that sauce. But we're gonna throw a lot of cheese in there, so it's gonna be really thick. In here. A lot of cheese. So I love your little kitchen. This is this is pretty fancy. Yeah. We got it during the pandemic and we were hoping to do more cooking and that those shows will be coming soon. Uh, but now that we're opening, we're inviting the community to come out and cook with us. So if you have a recipe that you would like to do, feel free to click on the link below to register to sign up and come do the same exact thing. Not all of them will be recorded, so if you don't feel comfortable being recorded, as I don't, but here I am. Uh, oh, this we is being recorded. Yeah, <laughs> uh, we'll do so in person as well, so you can talk to the community. So that's what's really great. So where did this recipe come from? This is just a real, I mean, simple one. I do a lot of barbecuing a lot. When we're at Jackpot, yeah. we're gonna have a lot of uh, barbecued meats, yeah. and a lot of barbecue sandwiches. Um, so this is kind of that traditional uh, barbecue picnic style uh, yeah. side dish, and you know, it couldn't be any simpler. That roux, milk, heavy cream, cheese, and noodles. Uh, and we zhuzh it up with a couple other things as we go. We'll, we'll get into that, but. You, you can't go wrong with mac and cheese. I yeah. think we're good on that. Okay, perfect. And we, you know, once we're at Jackpot, we're going to put pulled pork, brisket, all kinds of fun stuff on inside of that as well. All right, that so. That sounds amazing. This is, what we got here? 16 ounces. Probably put about half of that in there. You don't want it too, too loose. And then just a little bit of milk. Because with that heavy cream, you just want to just lighten it up just a little bit, not much. And can people use milk or uh, water if they wanted to? You could use water. I mean, water's going to, I mean, it, it, the, the whole thing with mac and cheese is how rich it's going to yeah, be. Exactly. So, I mean, you could use water. You could use half and half instead of heavy cream. You could use yeah. straight milk. Yeah. Um, it's not a problem. You could use, I'm, you could probably use almond milk. 
if you oh. wanted to. Yeah. Um, the coconut for a nutty milks. flavor, I can imagine. Yeah. If yeah. you're, you know, if you're lactose intolerant, you can use one of those options. Yeah. Um, actually, I was just thinking, uh, what butter did you use? Because there's some European butters coming out on the market. And so did you use just a Tillamook, no salted or salted butter? Yeah. Salted butter, just the, the basic off the shelf. I think that, uh, I don't remember what brand it was, whatever was in the fridge at home that I stole. Sorry. <laughs> and I want that to boil. Once that hits that boil point, that's that, that, that room will help thicken that up and we'll, we'll turn the temperature down we'll start uh, putting cheese into it well and i know some people use like potato starch so if you um can't or if you're gluten intolerant some or just getting away from gluten some people have been using potato starches so you'll use boiled potatoes and then save some of that water because the starch will be encapsulated in that water and you're able to use that as a substitute oh, in some recipes i like that I've never, yeah I've, yeah i mean I've, I've i've used what i've always used but whoa Technical difficulties, we'll be right back. And welcome back. So we had some minor difficulties <laughs> here. And so um, our oven completely turned off and we we're in the middle of a roux and it doesn't seem like that was too affected, right? No, roux are tough, they'll, they'll bounce back. And then the pasta, of course, just kind of sat there. So it has to get back up to speed, but it'll get there. Oh, pasta jacuzzi. So that roux is starting to boil up a little bit so that we're getting that thickness on there. Yeah, because you lifted it. Again, induction uh, burners. Great for this little space. Not so great for television. <laughs> so we add uh, some black pepper. Mm -hmm. Freshly ground, it Freshly looks like. Ground. Got to get that in there. I like it a little bit. And then normally you know, you'll put a lot of some garlic or garlic salt in there, but in the hot sauce has a lot of garlic in it. So jackpot heat sauce, some of that in there going to give it some good color and a little punch just a little bit mm -hmm. not too much have a look there. do you watch hot ones the what's that hot ones on youtube oh is that the the wings uh, uh yeah where they try a whole bunch of uh hot oh, sauces yeah. Uh, yeah there's some on there like i've tried that just i like it when it's hot and it tastes good when it's right. hot just to punch me in the mouth so that's what we can expect from this this one's more flavor hot. than yeah heat, oh, sauce heat but also flavor yep that's the one the heat sauce and then we do uh a hotter version called Diablo Sister that does punch you in the mouth because that's what some people want. They need that. Yeah, ghost peppers Crazy and anything. Hey, it's got some stuff, man. a little bit, a little that, you know. Trade secret. Yeah, you know, but it's good stuff and we'll have that for sale too at yeah. the, the, the jackpot. So that's coming up real nice. I want to start putting the cheese in the milk. I'm going to turn the heat down just a little bit because mm -hmm. if, if you start to, if you melt the cheese too fast, it'll break down and, and get a little gritty. So yeah. don't want that. So I like to start off with the good old American Cheese. Natural cheese. <laughs> Get that right in there. Do you have a whisk in there? Yes, we do. Whisk and keep that because it makes a bit of a mess in there. Just get that. Going. I think our pasta is almost in there. So you want to just keep moving that around. Keep on. Don't walk away from it. Yeah. Um, and those were big chunks of cheese. Yeah, big chunk, and, and they were still a little cold. You know, you can bring them up to room temperature because you're obviously going to throw it in here, and, and it'll melt a little bit faster. And why did you choose chunk right now as compared to the grated that we prepped in advance? Have you ever tried to grate American cheese? <laughs> Basically, you yes. end up with just a fistful of mush and, and it's a big mess. So I just, I'll just rough chop yep. it, chop it up. Um, well, it's so much easier just to be able to chop it up as compared to grade, like a whole, a whole cheese chunk. Well, yeah, I find like with, uh, if I get my kids involved and I want to keep them busy, I'll just have them grate cheese. And that's, that's a good, uh, oh my like gosh. That too, too. So I could instantly tell you're making a roux by your flour and your butter there. I'm like, that looks like a good roux starter. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, anybody could grate the cheese, yes. Oh. oh, wait, this is the peel potato equivalent, isn't it? <laughs> it, is, it is. I'll start adding some of the rest of the cheese in there that's really starting to melt. Again, just cheddar, American cheese, and then we've got pepper jack too. Um, at Jackpot, we're going to use, uh, we smoke our cheeses so you get that smoky flavor where we're not putting all the pasta mm -hmm. in, the, in the smoker. So, but, you know, you could get like that. a smoked cheese from the store if yeah, you need. Like, like you smoked Gouda. Mm -hmm. um, I, yeah, you can put anything in there at all. Um, I've had it with um, Gouda, cheddar, mm -hmm. mozzarella. Does You get a real nice uh, stringy mozzarella, yeah. fresh mozzarella, whatever you want. As long as you like cheese, right? Cameraman. Shout out to our cameraman. Yeah, does not like she only likes Which is okay. cheese. Which is okay. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Are we getting that real ooey gooeyness? Just keep that moving. I think. 
We're good on this. Yeah, that's ready to go. Okay. Yep. Yeah. We'll use that. I'll switch you. There you go. Put it on here like that? Yep. Inside? Yep. Mm. Supposedly. I'm going to grab. Yes, we that. also have several available. Hopefully, we don't dump all the pasta into the sink. If uh, we do, it's okay because we won't tell the rest of the library staff it's going to eat it that we dumped it in the sink. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, They'll, they'll eat this, then they'll see this a couple days later. Right? Yeah, we, we've all had those moments. It's like when the power goes out. Or yeah. Out. It wasn't our fault. Then you want to grab that uh, metal, or that, that pan, and we'll pour the pasta right into okay. there. I'm so nervous about this. Thing. Wait, what pan? The, the, that bacon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Oh, no, you Sorry. cheese. That's, that's fine. Sorry. Well, I, I was... Making sure we didn't burn our precious cheese, although a little tinge is not too bad. Cheese is resilient. You just don't want it scorched. Uh, should I add any more cheese while you're doing this? Yeah, if you want to keep just putting handfuls in there of that, that would be perfect. Back up your sink. That's okay. I want to get as much of the water out of there as mm -hmm. possible. So, so you're not reserving any no. for now? No. Get rid of all that. I mean, there's enough cheese in here that you really don't have to worry about the noodles sticking together no, or the no. sauce drying out. So really reserving water isn't necessary. But if you weren't, if you're trying to cut back on cheese, which is, you know. <laughs> so that can all sit right in there. Get back to that in a minute. And right now we have the broiler going um, just to get that started. Jack in there. Perfect. Oh, Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what are our next steps while this is melting? So, while we're just getting that done, that's all we're really waiting for. Actually, um, part of what we're going to do, so we'll do a, we got a lot of mac and cheese here, so mm -hmm. we'll do half and half. I'm going to do half okay. vegetarian okay. with uh, breadcrumbs on top, just some basic seasoned Italian breadcrumbs. And then the other half, uh, we're going to use uh, pork panko. And all we've really done for that is crushed up pork rinds. Yeah. You throw that on there, and so you get that that crunchy pork flavor on top. Uh, it's it's crazy. Good. Yeah, you, yeah. Once you have it like that, oh man, it's so good. Uh, and then we got some jalapenos. We'll probably people like jalapenos. Yeah, we can do thirds. Can do thirds. Yeah, yeah. Let's do, we'll do a, a a big stripe right See, now. See, that's but. what's great about mac and cheese, and especially if you're broiling it, you can just throw on the toppings and then mix it in once you throw it in Whatever the bowl. Want, yeah. And I think that's looking good. A couple of little chunks in there, but those right. will melt as we continue to go. So why don't we pour, let's pour half of that in there. There you go. Perfect, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like to stir it up and let the, the noodles absorb just a little bit of that, mm -hmm. especially when they come fresh out like that. They're going to yep. suck some of that up. Just let it exactly. sit and then um, we'll pour the rest on. And throw those jalapenos in there, get it all underneath the plate. Mm -hmm. Literally golden. That's Literally. what you're trying to. Yeah. Well, we do have some of the extra cheese. We'll put some of the cheese on top before we put up and use. I'm gonna use a little more sauce. Let's go. Yep. Mm -hmm. Lonely in the corner. So this is. I mean, this is such a fun and great little setup. If, if anybody's out there, they're super accommodating, super friendly, super nice. Thank you. Sign up. Come down. Check this out. The library is is always top notch. Well, and you've been in like our uh, our uh, community story time, so you've come here quite a lot. You're kind of a veteran here. Well, and that's that's the, honestly that's the stuff that I'm going to miss the most is is the community uh, involvement, um, <laughs> doing the, the the story time, mm -hmm. doing stuff like this, um, the kindergarten carnival at the library, right. the touch truck, all that fun stuff. It's going to be really weird yeah. not to. But everybody can come and do it, and then when they're done, they're gonna be hungry. Come see me over <laughs> in the city, and I'll feed you. Good, box. good workaround for that. <laughs> hey, and don't forget the sauce. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. Let's dump the rest of okay, that. Okay, perfect. There. And are we doing more of an even yeah, uh, try? Yeah, no, it's all good. Throw it all over. And are you going to mix this into, or leave yeah, it on yeah, top? I'm okay, perfect. So, there. no finesse with the cheese. Just dump yeah, it in there. Dump it in. Uh, what you know, this is the style that I like with the mac and cheese. I like it kind of sloppy and wet. Some people like it a little drier. Hey, that's cool. If you want to put in less uh, sauce, do that. Uh, make it any way you want. I mean, it's mac and cheese, so it's always going to be good, right? 
As long as you don't put ketchup on it. Don't put ketchup on your macaroni and cheese. You know, oh, I feel I feel hurt. And I'm also wondering. <laughs> you know, that was rude. Just, that was I'm a low blow. Saying, just saying, don't put ketchup okay. on your mac and cheese. You know, we were having a riveting discussion prior to this recording about whether you enjoy uh, ketchup. And I pointed out that it's just a form of potato, or tomato, not potato, mm -hmm. a tomato, like a roasted tomato thrown on top. So drop it in the comments. Whether that's disgusting, I'm probably sure you're all going to say disgusting, but don't judge me. We it's all have our things. It's just, uh, it's. Don't do it. Don't it's not judging, it's just wrong. <laughs> that's what you just said. So I just got jalapeno juice okay. a little, yeah, uh, all over the place. So uh, I'm just going to stuff the jalapenos down inside. Okay. And the cool thing about the jalapeno is with that, that vinegar and that bite, that's going to break up some of that uh, richness yeah. in the mac. Yeah. Yeah. And put that, that'll be our middle, that'll be our dividing line. So are the um I, don't touch your eyes basically at this point. Ooh. Yeah. And there. Um, cheese, we'll put the cheese all over the mm -hmm. top. I can feel that broiler on my legs. It's yeah. really warm <laughs> underneath here. Shh, you're ruining the magic. Oh. No, it does get a little toasty, especially since we're currently in the original um, children's room. If you brought your children to our room, you know exactly where our story times are held. And it's kind of small, so having a working oven in here can get Sometimes warm. It's a little warm air. Yeah, especially when you're wearing a full vest and everything. I'm not going to miss wearing all this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. In the wintertime, it's great. It keeps you nice and warm. But in the summer, or even when you're next to a broiler, at yeah. your thigh level, it's very warm. Yes. Uh, so that was the breadcrumbs, just Italian breadcrumbs mm -hmm. out of a can. And okay. then the, the pre, uh, uh, pork rinds that we smashed up. Yeah. Um, panko, I think, is a good substitute on my cheese. You could, well. Yeah, panko is good on there. Uh, I've seen goldfish crackers or cheese its <laughs> Uh, again, it's just like yeah. with the cheese and the noodles type. You can throw whatever you want. I mean, this one will never be duplicated. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. So that's it. That's it. Okay. So we're going to throw it into the we're broiler now in, yeah. for how long? You got to keep an eye on it, especially with the, um, the, the, uh, the, ooh, the um, pork rinds because yep. they'll start snapping and popping. Um, and there's a lot of oils in those that is going to start coming out. You just got to keep an eye on it. You got it? Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Ooh. Whoa. Whoop. Go ahead. Yeah. Support the bottom on yep. that guy. There we go. So Again, we have a tiny oven here, so usually you'd be able to throw it into a baking sheet and put it right into the pan. So um, you said how long again? You just got to eyeball it on that one. It's, it's okay. So we'll keep an eye on it. Three four minutes. Okay. Uh, it doesn't take long because that broiler's. You know, it's all cooked. Yeah. You're just looking for that crunch on top of the, um, the toppings. Okay. We'll see you in about three to four minutes. Yeah. Hi there, welcome back. So we just took the mac and cheese out of the oven. It was about three to four minutes, a little bit longer in ours, but that's okay. At home, it'll be three to four minutes. And it looks gorgeous. Nice golden brown, um, very distinct side. So people can make sure if you're taking this to a party or anything that you people will know which side to choose yeah, from. Absolutely, yeah. And it's, it looks festive, it looks delicious, it smells great. I haven't eaten lunch yet. I want to eat this whole thing by myself. Uh, yeah. Right. So we're going to dig in and um, I'm going to have you serve us sure, up. Sure. Um, I'm going to take some of this side. All right. We're going with the breadcrumb side. Do you want a little jalapeno in there too? Uh, sure. I will take Scoop that. Scoop a little over. Okay. Go ahead. Of that crunchy top. And then that, a lot of that sauce gets absorbed by the noodles, but then it's still, it's getting into those little nooks and crannies inside of the, uh, the shells and just, oh man. Beautiful. There's a lot. It's it's beautiful. I love that. <laughs> yes. And um, serve yourself up, please, as well. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the pork side. A little bit of jalapeno. It's a kind of mix and mash type of thing. Yeah, a little bit. Just have it gloriously. I won't take too much. I want to leave some for the rest of the, the fantastic folks that work upstairs and down here in the children's side. So this is what they get for yep. not uh, coming down. Okay. It's crazy hot. <laughs> yes, it literally did just come out of the oven. Mm -hmm. Throw a little more of this on there. I'm gonna go grab some ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming uh, in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go deface this with my it's ketchup now. Ketchup. Mm -hmm. Oh man. No, it's really nice. I'm um, back up. Right. Well, and like so. Um, you know, uh, I'm not usually one for heat. I will definitely uh, try some jalapeno when I get it. And this isn't too intense. Like, you can actually avoid the jalapeno and just have the tinge in the back without it being overwhelming. So if you're somebody who likes that additional 
flavor and heat, this is actually a good option for you as well. Yeah, and one of the things too that um, we do is we'll chop up the jalapeno so they're real fine. Mm. And that way you, you get a Vitamax cheese. And just that little crunch and that acid that breaks up the, the richness of the mm -hmm. cheese. Those are some big size jalapenos in there and then with the heat sauce on it. Mm -hmm. It's a little warm, but uh, yeah, I mean, again, you can just do anything. You could top it with bacon. You could top yeah. it with cheese crackers. You don't have to put any topping at all. We put a little bit of cheese on there. You can yeah. just go with that, whatever you want. Well, and then you're recommending like pulled pork and other options. Pulled so. pork and some barbecue sauce on there. I mean, that's a meal and a half right there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, thank you for joining us today on our community kitchen. I want to give a shout out. Thank you for joining us today as well. Um, Click on the subscribe button so you can get future video notifications in the future. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, as well as Twitter. And then how can people find you and your new location? Oh my, well, uh, right now you can find us on Instagram at Jackpot Foods. Look for the Jackpot logo. Uh, Facebook as well, it's the same thing. Uh, we don't have Twitter yet, uh, but we're going to get our website up. We've got a, a, a fantastic offer from a member of the community to possibly set Yay. up our website. So Oh, great. That's great. So yeah, go to Jackpot Foods and keep up with uh, all of our info and, and some uh, great uh, menu items and things and specials that we're going to have over there. So thanks again for letting me do this. I, I mean, I love to cook and uh, anytime that I can do it and, and come in and get to eat some of it too, that's fantastic. So thank you so much. Everybody out there, sign up, come down here and use this kitchen. This is a fantastic opportunity is to get out and meet the great people here at the library and also to come in and share some of your food uh, with uh, the people in West Wing. Thank you for joining us today. Have a good afternoon. Bye. Bon appetit. <laughs> recommendation from our cameraman. Thank you, Tommy who recommended garlic. Yep, you can throw more garlic in there. Roasted garlic mm -hmm. is one. Uh, we use uh, smoked garlic in our hot sauces. You can throw that in there. A little powdered garlic in that roux, uh, or in the uh, sauce at the yeah. initial stage. Yeah. yeah, throw that in there. The more garlic, the better. That's never, again, a bad thing. Exactly. Um, but yeah, again, you can throw anything you want in there. You yeah. Know? Some people like a little rosemary, whatever. It's yeah. Anything and everything. Just, I mean, make it yours. That's the beauty of mac and cheese. It's yeah. your mac and cheese. Yeah. I ate all mine. Yeah, and I'm halfway there. Uh, that's your little tidbit for this. Thank you. Thank you, Tommy. Oh, sausage? You can throw sausage in there? Bacon? Whatever. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs>